who paraded here in, you know, in false room, telling the Liberian people that they got solution. But the Liberian people begin, you know, they begin victim to their malicious lies. We continue to let our people know that very soon our responsibility as a responsible political institution is ensure to educate the Liberian people so they get to know the wrongdoing of the aid, of the grossly irresponsible you know, leadership of the Unity Party. And the rest will be left with them. We also want to call the attention the chairperson on Wednesday who officially be announcing the committee. Uh, compatriot Janga Augusto Ho will be announcing the committee that will be set will be set to preserve a super team. Not just we want to re-emphasize what we try to do in that. We have three activities. First activities will be the birthday. The birthday. The first will be the birthday on the first of October. It is the nativity that was the day our political leader was born. We are very grateful to God for that. Uh, for this gift of life. Not just only to the CDC, but to Liberia and to the continent of Africa and to the world. This may have affected the world so greatly today that even the continent in which we reside gave us a testimony. So we are grateful to God. Every day when October 1st reaches, we seize the moment to magnify the importance of that day. On October 1st was a historical day that the world witnessed a, a, red, a red gem that subsequently began an access, an access to not just the Congress or the Coalition of Democratic Change and access to the war allowed. And so on the basis of that, the people store it which is on the first of October. All of our country leaders, all our supporters will come on our day and will be glorifying, celebrating, reminiscing on the great achievement that this gift of life has continued to impact life. The promise of the Liberian people was interrupted, disrupted. That promise will return. And that's why we will be engendering the return of the Liberian people promise. And what is being named and star is the return of the great comeback to the people's promise. So, on the first, the second aspect will also be, the second aspect will also be on the 7th, the 7th of November where men and women of this country were violently murdered on uh, the dead then the moral bond unity party regime. They did that before and they did that even on the just ended in uh, 2023 elections. They are notoriously moved for violently taking life for political dividends. We will be celebrating on the serving of the devil that is known as our Matthias Day. Reminiscing the facts and reminding our people that never again the United Party will have an opportunity to take away a chicken life that belongs to the CDC. Never again that the United Party will ever in this country have the slighter latitude to take away a life or a, cre a creature or a pet or a dog that belongs to the CDC. The CDC will ensure that that mistaken and that action will not be repeated. Anything that is associated with the CDC will be just protected, will be protected in any form and manner. The CDC have got, we have now ensured we have called on our friends, our international community, we have called on the Liberians. And the same thing again uh, in, in 2011, when the United Party said Nelson Freeman here, the current deputy police director for operation, what did he do? 
he committed murder on the grounds of the CDC headquarters. Today, what Mr. Parker has done, Mr. Parker has rewarded Nelson Freeman. And that's what we say to sedition. We will speak to you in the community. We will say to you, it is important. And you ask us, why we not just stop in? Because we are victims of the police. What we call in this country, even one of us, we are victims of the police. And so we will encourage, like the children, like the Asians, the Asians, what they were doing, they were teaching their children, and they were teaching their spouses, they were teaching the companion, the companion. We will say the police have become tools in the hands of desperate politicians, and subsequently victimizing seditions. So we have said to our people that Nelson Freeman will be known. We will tell our people that you need to know this character, this man who has a protracted record of taking away life of sedition. And he's done that here. Mr. Barker has rewarded him. We may not have the power. They are armed with state resources. They are armed with resources that give them weapons. We are armless people. But we believe in God. We will use our multitude to defend ourselves. We will use our multitude to stand up together. We will ask our people. We will avail ourselves to go to jail together. We will avail ourselves to stand together. We will avail ourselves to defend ourselves. Whatever it will take us sedition, we will build ranks together. We will not back down. Fight. Go out those days. That a sedition will be armed. And things are not happening in this country. If you ever seen that, we can say to you, conspicuously clear declare that you are a product of insanity, that you would think that a sedition will be held and nothing will be done about that. And so those people who have been used to perpetrate and effectuate harms against the sedition, we will do the simplest thing. We will educate our people to begin to know them. We will educate our people to know exactly where these people are and where they come from. And so, we want to say to you, categorically clear, and on that day will be a celebration on the 7th. And subsequently, all of these activities will consummate into raising the dialogue. After these various activities, we will come. So we want to provide the clarity to you. We think our people know we think people that's a, a confusion that you will be raising money on October 1st. No. October 1st, you will be celebrating. October 1st, you will converge here to celebrate the anniversary of His Excellency, Dr. George Manawea. The chairperson will announce, will announce the committee of the birthday and the town rally and will begin to put measures into place. And subsequently, after conclusion, we then but we launch the 2.5 million that we want, we are intended. We're very clear, people are very enthusiastic, our people have been fully into all, they are going for counties. So we think the party said 2.5, but people are saying no, we can raise for 10 million, we can raise more than that, <laughs> you know. So we see the, the momentum. But we as a party said 2.5. So our people have been very much enthusiastic. So what we're trying to do is to put the requisite measure into motion. When that measures are put into place, where accountability and transparency. We do not want to delve into what Mr. Walker did here on inauguration when the chairperson could not account for an excess usage of the people tax pay your money. No, we don't want to do that. The party, you can say about the government, but this party. This party has, has, a, it has a transparent record of accountability. Our sense of probability is unquestionable. And so what we're going to do about the leaders, we are going to put the requisite measure into place so that when the process begins, raising the money, we will raise the money into the community. Leadership campaign, put your money and own your institution. And that campaign will be launched. So we begin on the first, and the chair president of Wednesday will announce the committee, and uh, we proceed with the various, various activity. That is the aspect from our party perspective. On the aspect where the chairman will be double dying, we want to say the chair president on Wednesday, 
as, a, as an institution. They are very concerned. We learned about the legislature, the Senate has said that they have investigated and the budget alteration was committed by the finance ministry. We think Mr. Kwaka needs to take action. His inability to take action will furthermore be inviting the people to take action. Mr. Parker's were thought already to take action. If he fails to do that, he can accept how going to be constituted into an open, into an open institution, an open invitation for the people to consider taking action. We also very concerned about over sixty million dollars of budgetary expenditure. We live in today's Liberia where people cannot afford tuition. Mr. Barker, card, credit card carry one hundred thousand dollars. One hundred thousand dollars. We've been told that our hospitals is shutting down because there is no city scale. We think the rate at which people are dying at the hospital, it has never happened before. The statistic has been compiled very soon we are opting to release the statistics so that we can know as well. Because we're concerned. We are not saying we're wishing for a bad thing to happen in this country. No, it is not in our place. We do not wish evil for this country because we from this place would not like Mr. Buaka, who is insecure, he needs 100,000 to travel and to do things. These people are behaving that look, when you come, when you go, when you do something, the buffet ground hole, you have no respect for it. Was anything you, you, you know, things that are stolen, you say not to appreciate, you don't think to recount the people. They treat these people, 22 men. The criminal letter flame on Wednesday, the chairperson will be itemizing all of the money that have disappeared over the period of time. And we also be heard that the commerce minister, what is sickening is it, it is the the umbrella of arrogance of these creatures who today claim to be government officials. The umbrella of arrogance. You steal people money and you can you say you were rich man before? But you see how these people don't they see they consider the people to be insignificant. Insignificant. You have no remorse. A regret, and you come here, you sit, and you portray, and you want people to accept you and say, You have, how you acting like before? But you see, when you have a serial like Biren, who has an who been opportune to preside over your comrades, what different do you expect? You have this man, he say he has the, you know, the audacity to talk to. You think you talk to Matthew yeah? You're a liar. Yeah. And that's why we challenge people like you. Bring up your facts. We sit here today, we challenge you. You lie to the Liberian people. You came to steal. It was not the issue of chance, change. It was squarely the issue of chance. Today you have a chance. You sit here. Your origin has been investigated that you are a product of a Syrian community. We need to check your bloodline because you, you, you demonstrate heartless composure. You can be, because you, 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 are, you stay for the people. You ride a car that costs 150,000, 150,000. We are investigating. There's some information about that car. Very soon, that information about the car, not just that you pay for it, that kind of the money you pay for it. It's a whole story surrounding the car. It's a whole story. And you will get to know. It will give you a couple of days. That story will be revealed with actuality. With actuality. And every other document will be displayed. Everything that bring people for us, we're not surprised. We said this to you. And we want to inform you that these bunch of risky criminals, senseless, heartless, who came here to unsettle the Richmond. Tell you what happened. 
I want to read every side. We're calling them a dean. See over the case of the late Chara Musi. The Supreme Court released the, you know, the former Chief Justice. Now be honest now. Two things here. If the former Chief Justice were put to jail for insufficient evidence, that's so sad. No one should go to jail for that. Unfortunately, she was there. What happened? She lost her daughter. Two things are happening. If nothing can stimulate the Chief Justice and the President to find a murderer, I don't know where else. That's double jeopardy. You went to jail. It was a public shame and embarrassment. You should be zealous, inspired, trying to find this murderer who have caused your family so much pain. Not that only the innocent child was murdered, but even you, who the parents were subjected, not, not just only international embarrassment, but in not just national, but also international, and you spend your day in, you know, you spend your time. If my history can send me, maybe you will be the first chief justice ever to go to jail in the way you want to jail. If this is not a reason, if this is not sufficient hunger to the show that the perpetrator, that the murderer is being discovered, we have the state, there's a major, there's a landmark case. I'm calling on the government to investigate, to put money into this state. Do not leave this on her. There was issue here and said people were not investigating. Can we not invest money into this case? So that we can go deeper and find who is the murderer. Something that our people need to know. There are a lot of people around the world. We still have Jerry Verdier, who is in America. He's not a ghost. He's a human being, a respectable, very respectable lawyer. He presided over our TRC commission, commission here. A lot of people in Raj want to bury the meaning of this young woman. She's not burying her will not serve no purpose, but finding the perpetrator will bring closure. Why is burying become more significant than finding the perpetrator? Why people think she should be buried and say she wants closure? That is not closure. That's not closure. It can't be closure. You journalists, you have family people, you journalists, you're talking about a person, you know, death is inevitable. But sometimes the condition in which death can be muted upon you, it becomes so devastating that you do not want it to just linger. We think it is important that the perpetrator, whatever he is, the perpetrator, the government has, the not favor the government doing for all, the government has resources at a disposal. Those resources will be deployed adequately to ensure that the, the, the little woman who was grossly murdered, so justice to come. But we come, and like only free, all our advocates, uh, uh, I say this to the civil society community, there were people who were protesting. So, while these political civil society practitioners, the country is in trouble. If you were genuinely affected, I'm a religious leader. If you were genuinely affected by the death of this young lady, I think now is the time. Some of us who were publicly accused, we have failed ourselves. I want a mayor in this time. I went to the police station, and which of course I have 1,000 available in any form of investigation, whatever it is. Now, if calling Johnson Koji will help you to discover. The brother, we are wholeheartedly available for such interrogation to the show. To the show that we found it. How is it? Everybody have gone silent. Why? Where is the voices of ourselves inside the practitioner? Where? Where is the voices of our religious leader? This is a young potential, young potential lady. Her potential on top. Today she died. 
and the whole country was still asleep. And unfortunately, for us, I'm very good at celebrating. I think it's the only country where our, the only country where a former chief justice was sent to the central prison. It's not a fair thing. No. I'm in sympathy with the family. I'm in sympathy with the family. I've always had in my voice. Don't worry about because I accuse. I know these are political cowards who fear me. So they go beyond fictitious things to malign my character. They do not have what it takes to confront me. So normally they will go through falsehood. So I'm not bad about that. I'm in sympathy and empathy with you. I think this little girl case should not go unheard. There must be there must be serious resources deposited to the show that the truth that crashed to the ground should show the world and let us be able to discover. We can't be talking about burial here, ceremony, and be able to see whether you go bury it. It doesn't signify closure. What signifies closure here is to be able to find the perpetrator. So again, we add our voices to that. You media people, I think it's important. Begin to write articles, Chokro. You guys should do that. You know, write articles and so that you'll be able to point out these things so that we can know it exactly. You can help itself as a precedent that people cannot come here and kill people. Now you're all the things I said, Jehovah's in Koji. We were criminal. We were murderer. We were dead. Every morning we hear. And you think by pulling on our censure, you will silence us. We know the censure, we are victims of most powerful people. I don't have friends in Washington, D.C. I'm a poor native boy. So putting me on censure is an easy thing. You just need to get first. You may not, I don't like the way Koji can say. Hey, I can say Koji in that press conference, you it? Yes. So down the business, like, you get angry and you don't have, you don't have regret. You know why? Because we know our people and our people know us. You cannot deceive them. That Koji is a murderer. And that's why they know us and we know them. And you will try. All your effort is fruitless. And Mr. Buaka needs to be aware. All these things we list, when they say the season will officially respond to him, failure to do that. When they say hassle to our countries and our people, thank you. Our process begin. When they say the press, the, when they say the chairman will be here. And we'll be having a mass meeting along with the youth league and the women's league at the party here for that. Thank you so kindly. Well, um, thank you, um, Comrade Secretary General Jefferson and Apoji, uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen and members of the Pope Estate. You have listened to the Kirudak Secretary General and giving you give you a convocate a cascade of issues good along the national plan of this group of country. And so on the basis of those issues, we are going to ask your questions in the domain confines of the issues so that the composition in the press conference is guided as been expressed by the Secretary General of the Indemnity Mighty Congress for Democratic Change. So at this time, we'll be asking you clearly to please call your names, the institutions you represent, and go straight to the question. Please, each media entity will be required to be asked. Each media entity will be required to ask a question, and not two, and not three, a question. Please follow that because of time. Thank you. Let's begin with the... So, um, Thomas, you uh, take it back. You talk about the party raising 2.5 million. I want to know what is the intended purpose of raising that money. And follow up to that question. The last time you shared a point that like, units are short of the military party, do you think we can achieve that when the military party government stands as an entity? Yes, President. Yes. Okay, so call the name and the
Last question. Can you ask the Afro Korea report for February? Sir, I'm concerned about the budget authorization. The committee confirmed that, and then you are calling on uh, Mr. Buaka to intervene. Why, if the president fail to take action against individuals that are involved, what would be the party stand? Okay. Thank you so much. I mean, is there three questions? So let's go. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Jambo yeah. from the Library Investigator. Um, I don't want to just get credit. This is still a uh, coalition of Congress. Because sometimes you say coalition of Congress. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Dallas Kanda, a report for OKF and our LTR concern about the rally. Uh, <clears throat> librarians are wondering uh, earlier this year, you were announced about the retreat in Grand Bass account, which I feel like this one will retreat. We, again, you are coming back to announce the data that you are coming to rally here on the company. Do you think librarians or your parties in still have confidence in you to hold a rally? Then, how prepared are you to conduct this rally? Mm -hmm. All right. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you ever so much. We want to begin with the first question of freedom of stating about the internal purpose of the people of the <coughs> the internal purpose of the dialogues. Obviously, the CDC is a political institution. We are intending to raise money for party function and also the welfare of our people. We are not going to, you see, in this country, people think the party can be run by family people. And when you win election, and you say, oh, when you win election, you say, oh, we have a big shot there sponsoring. And how can I tell myself taking a job? No, we don't want to do that. The CDC that I'm about to don't take it for true. It's not happening now. The CDC alone let our people take ownership of their institution. So today of tomorrow, when they return to power, we do not want to have any big shot who are supporting this party in the dark. So you come and say you own for that ministry. Like I hear, like I hear the ministry in the in, in, in the rescue mission were being purchased. And that's why the ordinary United Rescue Party scene are long, you know, they are lingering. They said they say in the they say the higher bidder who you be commerce minister, you got to pay. And now the United Party guy are saying the thing to us. We will be able to tell you how much we pay for free port. Don't mind me. I'm very the United Party people are very smart people. The young people, they are they are documented. We were very sure we didn't know that the officers were being paid for. People pay to be free port head. You pay to earn the Ministry of Commerce. And that's why you see now people will go in pay for a place. Have to utilize it. Pay money, you know, that on the basis of merit. So we try to avoid that calamity. We want our partisan. So today or tomorrow, Chairman Koji cannot tell you that you have to wait. Because Mr. X was sitting there somewhere and he brought money. We are asking our people to invest into their institution. You see, in America, people raise money there. I just come and went to see them in my office. Take a look there. I learned that she used one day, she raised $27 million. Raise the money in the U.S. The CDC is the only part who can do that. We are ready to say whether we are ready or not. Wait and see. Do not second guess us. Do not second guess us. We are calling on our people and informing them to take steps. But we said to you, in very category, on the first and other day to bring money, we want to, do, want to put the necessary mechanism into place. Mechanism of accountability. We don't want to be here where people can account for people money. No. Celebrate on the first. We get prepared for the Matayan day. At the same time, the very infrastructure will be built and deployed. And people will be sensitized. 
What that has done, then our people take ownership in the area community. On the entire day, there will be a general celebration. The 15 counties, all of the capital city, will be having program concurrently in celebration of the Matthias Day. Congress or coalition? The Congress, so we, we are, we stay in a coalition. We are definitely stay in a coalition. You know, with the, the issue when you ask about valid talent, it will also form part of the investigation. So somebody see, you don't want to see somebody for the police get involved, the investigator get involved. All of those things that need to be established will also be it must also be discovered. It's not for me to see. My only thing I'm calling is that it's important, extremely important, that we focus. You must prioritize your priority. That's what you need to do. Between barrier and discovery of the perpetrator, you agree with me, you would like to find the discovery aspect. Because the discovery will constitute closure. Bearing, nobody know what happened. It looked like a mystery. We want to know what transpired. How was she murdered? And who did it? We saw the way she was murdered. We want to know who performed that. A such person has no luxury to go about taking another person's life in a very violent way. Okay? Thank you. So, <laughs> Now you're raising 2.2 .2 million, and, and your party headquarters is quite controversial right now. Well, Someone will say the money is intended to purchase the property or what? They also fought the party functionary. It's also, you can also consider that as part of the party functionary. And you see, we're raising money, want to buy no property. That's a, you see what I mean? People will eat their words. We are honest people. You are saying we stole from the whole country. The same people you have to our partisans will put their data because they know they were victims of lies. The CDC did not do what you have excused the CDC of. And that's the reason the partisans will get involved. They will take ownership of this people, of the populist people revolution. We will go to our community. If the people don't, then it is the people we own. We all own the people commitment. You say 2.5, you say times are high. Obviously, the terms are high. But in the on the Balkan, you can stay coming. It was not because time had and the CDC will not survive. The CDC will survive, the CDC will survive through its people. And the people who own this revolution will begin to do everything possible, humanly possible, to ensure that this party will not fall in their generation. While delay, they will do everything to ensure this party will be saved. So the issue about whether the time, yes, the time is extremely. This is what happened to Joseph Walker. You don't have, you know, CT scan, but he carries what? John, did you see that? What do you carry? You want know, to mention that? $100,000. Well, credit card, what does he do with that? If you want to ask me, I hear a lot of things about that, but we investigate him very soon. You see a lot of people travel, they're being entertained, the old man go, he gets swap. When the team has taken place, now we understand why nothing can come back here. You carry 100,000 by every time you travel, obviously, people are being entertained. Over with people's money. Thank you very much. Thank you.